Hello and welcome to day 89. It is a grand day today because it is a review time. It was supposed to be day 90, but tomorrow is not going to be the day when I will have a lot of time. So tomorrow's episode will be fairly short. Um, that's why I do it today. It is a review time and uh, I am doing very bad. <laughs> I am doing extremely bad because time has passed and I'm still in the same place that I've been. I am no stronger, so and not I'm not more disciplined, and I did not achieve anything more. Therefore, if the knowledge that I gained from this experience will not suffice to make the adequate changes, it has been time totally wasted. In terms of my weight, I am exactly the same weight as I've been a month ago, which means that I am exactly the same weight that I've been two months ago. For the past two months, I didn't lose anything at all. I am 112.7. Between 112.5 and 113, I have been for the past two months. Nothing has changed. And I understand why. I understand why I didn't stick to my diet at all. Honestly, I had this conversation today in the morning with my fiance. Uh, both of us ch- checked our weights, and she's exactly in the same spot. She, she for the past two months, didn't lose anything. And considering how many times we had fast foods and sweets and ice creams and all this food we were supposed to have, that is a fucking miracle that we didn't gain anything. So the fact that we didn't lose any weight is... Obviously, in the grand scheme of uh, scheme of things, is bad, but we still should consider ourselves qu- quite lucky. So that sucks, and uh, because I am on a diet where I'm supposed to lose weight very, very slowly, even the slightest um, signs of not sticking to my diet are actually super hurtful. I gotta be very, very strict. I have to be super disciplined. I have to just stick to the diet the way it is. For the next week, at least, maybe I will wish to continue it further, probably not, but for the next week, I am resigning from one of my uh, small meals. It's around 300 calorie meal. So I have this meal less for next week. Um, Yeah, at least that's the plan. To try and kind of make up for my mistakes, at least a little bit. The problem in terms of diet is that last week of June, uh, we are going to celebrate our anniversary. And, um, well, the celebration of anniversary obviously is one day, and the other day we are seeing our friend. So from my perspective, at least two of those days are going to be difficult days uh, for, for our diet, because we will probably go overboard. But at the same time, it is our anniversary, and it would be super sad if we we wouldn't celebrate it. Honestly, if the past two months will result in a massive progress, I wouldn't feel bad about it at all. So, it is what it is. The best thing that I can do to, is to just stick to those two occasions. Seeing our friend is one, and the anniversary is another one. And stick very, very strictly to the diet on all the remaining days. That's the plan. So, that about diet. Meditation. Even worse than it was before. I did try different types of meditation. I tried mindfulness. And this is arguably way, way easier. But also, I gotta admit, it doesn't feel like meditation. Whenever you just sit there and someone talks shit to you that you might agree or might not agree with at all. So a little mindfulness practice. And I had to pay for that. Jesus fucking Christ. Not worth it at all. I have to come back to Zazen. I abandoned Zazen completely, and I gotta go back to it. I tried to sit Zazen twice, yesterday and the day before. I did for like five, five or six minutes. I have to come back to a regular, regular meditation 
because it is insanely difficult, but at the very same time, me not being able to be in control, me not being able to make a decision, like for example, a decision to just sit still and start the wall, is the reason why none of it works. So I have to come back to this then. It sucks, but it is the reality. So in terms of meditation, past month, absolute garbage, even worse than before. Mostly because I've been experimenting um, and I shouldn't have. Honestly, that's probably going to be the biggest thing. The biggest conclusion that I came to. Stop fucking experimenting, bro. Honestly, stop experimenting with things. Just, just do, just do instead of overthinking. Other thing, my workout that didn't go well, but it didn't go tragic as well. I've been going to the gym, but probably closer to like twice a week instead of four times a week. So I skipped a lot of the days. This week I went only once, for example. So this is this is going really bad. Lack of consistency. Uh, mostly once again because I've been experimenting with a new thing. I've been you know going for runs and stuff. So that's kind of an achievement because for almost two weeks I've been running every single day and once I even run ten kilometers. So hey, that's not nothing. But still, what counts is consistency. So nice experiment, although overall not worth it. Just stick to your goddamn plan. Just stick to your rules. And last but not least, the very, very most important thing. Game development. It didn't work out. Um, I was supposed to spend last month learning Blender. And I hate tutorials. And it was super, super difficult for me to motivate myself to learn. One thing that I realized is, as it is easy to kick yourself in the butt and go to the fucking gym or to go for a fucking run, you just force yourself to do it. You go there and you, you know, you're, you're there, so you, you have to cope with it and you do it, right? You, you may listen to audiobooks, to music, you may motivate yourself with lots of thoughts. You know, you can talk to yourself. There are many methods. But when it comes to any sort of intellectual endeavor, like for example, learning, you, you have to have your focus concentrated on the act of learning. If you don't, then you suck. And so past month was very, very difficult for me because 10 minutes lecture has been taking me from one hour to an hour and a half because I had to rewind it dozens of times. I've been forgetting what the guy is saying after like five seconds, genuinely. Uh, And it is because I was not interested in it. I don't give a fuck about his fucking battles, crates, lighthouses and dungeons and stuff because this is not my game. I don't care. I know I should learn those skills. And by learning those skills and doing those things that are the part of the tutorial, I will learn the necessary skills to apply in my own project. I get it. I understand it all. But but still can't help but realize that I don't give a fuck about it. That's That's one thing. Another thing is that I am just copying what this guy is doing. I don't really understand why he uses a certain type of tool in a certain place he simply says this one will be better just use this one so I didn't learn much I didn't learn almost anything at all from this blunder curse my tactic right now is as it follows I am abandoning this tutorial I am abandoning blender completely and I am actually going to start working on my project I am going to start working on my game And it will come a time that I will not have any free assets that I can use. I'll have to make my own. Then I will learn the basics of Blender. I will learn every single tool there is. And I will try and figure it out on a go how to create a very simple graphic. That's what I'll do. And very simple animation if needs to. That's that's basically what I do. I am not going to learn theoretically something that I will probably need in the future. Instead, whenever the time comes that I need a certain asset... At this particular moment, I need a certain asset. I will just focus and I'll do it. And I'll be far more motivated to do it because it will be exactly for my game. I'll try to figure it out and I'll do it. Uh, I am very much motivated by my approach to my Etsy shop. 
whenever I set up my Etsy shop in November last year, I was so into it. I spent hours and hours and time, even early in the morning, like getting up at 4 a.m. to work on designs and work on the sh shop structure and stuff because I was so into it. Not because I am into any sort of visual designs or, I you know, print, printing t-shirts or cups or whatever, but because that was my thing at the moment. That was my thing. I wanted to do it. That was my plan. So I hope it will be the same. When it will come a time that I will need a fucking barrel, I will just open a blender, I will see a tutorial how to use certain tools, and I'll do a goddamn barrel. It will take me a lot of time to do it, but I'm pretty sure that I will learn from that barrel and possibly more than from a whole tutorial. I finished like three modules of this blender course, and I barely know what the fuck am I doing in there. Honestly, I don't know anything at all. I didn't learn. I didn't learn much. I know, I know roughly how to sculpt. And that's it. <laughs> I know how to apply a color, how to create lighting of the different angles and, and lights. That's everything there is. I genuinely didn't learn a single thing. And it was a month of, of a genuine effort. So that's the plan right now. The whole conclusion of this past month is something that I should have learned in the first month and I didn't. Just stick to the goddamn plan. Just stick to it. Don't try and go and look for the things. These are just distractions. Go to the gym. Do the powerlifting. Four days a week. Lose weight by sticking very strictly to your diet. And work on your motherfucking game. That you want to do. Meditate 15 minutes a day, every single day in the morning. Do the Zen, as you always did before. Don't try and experiment with other mindfulness apps or whatever. These are all distractions. They, 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 they worked in my head as different ways to approach things, but they were just distractions. If I would just stick for the past month to all of those things that I said to myself that I have to do, I would actually end up far better than I am at the moment. So that's the grand conclusion. Just do my shit. And once again, I get up in the morning and this is not even a habit for me anymore to meditate. I forgot that I had to meditate. Before, it was it was a habit. I get up. The first thing I do, I sit. It's not a habit anymore. First month was brilliant because I was doing only physical stuff. I was only exercising, sticking to the diet, and meditating. And because of that, I managed to succeed. In all those things. But, now, but, but the very moment that 60 days ago I added a little bit more, suddenly I can't do it anymore. So I am so tempted to simply acknowledge that, okay, well, this is what it is. Well, maybe you should right now just let it go. And simply focus on taking back all the previous things that you completely ignored. Because the first 30 days were great. In the first 30 days, I meditated every single day. Every single day I sat Zazen. I stick to the diet largely, almost all the time, and I lost plenty of weight. My starting weight was 118. I lost 5 kilos in the first month. That's nice. That's pretty good. I didn't miss a single day at the gym. I've been going to the gym and I've been making progress. Everything was great. The very moment that I added some mental stuff, poof, everything blew up. So, the conclusion of this, of this last month is as it follows. This is very, very important. I am going to focus on regaining my habits regarding my physical and spiritual health. Mental health is probably a better word. Zazen every single day, stick to the diet very strictly, go to the gym. This is a must. In terms of working on my game, just whenever. Just whenever. I, I have to do it uh, so that I will not forget completely um, how the tools work in Unity and stuff. 
I'll measure this time, just out of curiosity, how much time I'm actually spending a week working on a game. Um, but this is not a priority. When I put too much on my mind, I can't make all of it work for some reason. So the goal is to make those little things a habit again. Don't screw it up next time. Don't screw it up in another month. And focus on game development while already having a very healthy habit. I have to take a step back. I have to regain my habit of meditation, my habit of working out, my habit of working, of, of eating healthy. And that's the must. In terms of game development, no restrictions. No restrictions whatsoever. Let's say minimum of one hour a week, like genuinely, just to work on it kind of, so that I will not forget how the tools work. I will not forget the programming language and how the Unity works and stuff. That's it. That's all there is to it. I spent last two months philosophizing a lot, trying new things, instead of just sticking to my rightful routine. Gotta go back to the good habits. And gotta do it now. Starting from next week, Four, four days a week I'll be going to the gym. I'm sticking to my diet from like now. Um, I'm starting in for, for four days a week next month, ne, ne, next week only because I'll not fit in four days this, this week. That's the only reason. I'm having a lot of work to, all the way till Sunday included. So I am. It is what it is. I gotta. I, I have to reclaim what's mine. <laughs>